Russia's total combat losses in Ukraine from February 24, 2022 to April 25, 2024 amount to about 462,980 invaders, including another 1,040 troops killed or wounded in action in the past day. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook. According to the report, Russia has also lost 7,255 tanks, 13,942 armored fighting vehicles, 15,949 vehicles and fuel tanks, 11,836 artillery systems, 1,049 multiple launch rocket systems, 772 air defense systems, 348 airplanes, 325 helicopters, 9,449 drones, 26 ships and boats, and one submarine. By comparison, around 15,000 Soviet troops were killed and 53,000 injured in Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War, which lasted from nine years, from 1979 to 1989. This therefore suggests Russian casualties in Ukraine are around six times greater than those suffered by the Soviets in less than a quarter of the time. Tallies for Russian casualties have also been difficult to confirm throughout the war, and Ukraine's figures are higher than many other estimates. The Kremlin rarely releases its own numbers, and when it does, the figures are thought to be undercounted. Ukraine has not declared its official losses in the war. U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday signed into law an aid package that includes aid for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan as well as a provision that would force social media site TikTok to be sold or be banned in the U.S. The signing of the assistance package comes after a long battle between Democrats and Republicans in Congress over the much-needed assistance to Ukraine. It's a good day for America, it's a good day for Europe and it's a good day for world peace. It's going to make America safer, it's going to make the world safer and it continues America's leadership in the world and everyone knows it," Biden said at White House event while announcing the signing of the package. We rose to the moment. We came together and we got it done. Now we need to move fast, and we are," he went on saying. The US president underscored that the bill also includes a surge of humanitarian relief for Palestinians in Gaza suffering as the Israel-Hamas war continues. He stressed that Israel must ensure the humanitarian aid for Palestinians in bill reaches Gaza without delay. Biden also signed the first tranche from about $61 billion military aid package allocated for Ukraine, according to US official. The shipment of the aid would begin in the next few hours. The aid is expected to include air defense capabilities, artillery rounds, armored vehicles and other weapons to boost Ukrainian forces amid intensified Russian attacks. Russian Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov has been arrested on suspicion of bribery, the country's investigative committee announced Russian President Vladimir Putin and Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu have been briefed on the arrest. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told the media, earlier, Ivanov took part in an extended ministerial meeting led by Shoigu that included numerous senior Russian officials and top military commanders, while the committee effectively provided no details about the affair, it said that Ivanov is suspected of taking bribes on a large scale. According to the relevant clause in the Russian penal code cited by the committee, such bribes involve sums of at least 1 million rubles or over $10,500. If found guilty, Ivanov could face up to 15 years behind bars. Ivanov has been long involved in the country's energy and construction sectors and has worked at several high-profile state-owned companies. He led the military construction contractor Aberonstroy, a company whose primary purpose is building residential homes for servicemen, between 2013 and 2016. He was then appointed to his current post where he oversees military construction within the ministry. Several independent Russian media outlets have alleged that Ivanov and his family acquired vast wealth through kickbacks on contracts he agreed at the ministry to in December 2022. Navalny's team said they had obtained thousands of leaked emails from Ivanov's wife, Svetlana Maniovic, that showed a lavish lifestyle well beyond what his official salary could cover. They said she had spent hundreds 
of thousands of euros on luxury cars, jewelry, clothes, parties, and renting premium property and yachts in the south of France. Some of the transactions were routed through third parties, including defense ministry contractors, it alleged.